Hello guys, this is Jack Shrimi and these are the best decks to abandon the villages. Yeah guys, and as you can see, here we have an amazing loot. Yeah, almost 500,000 of a golden elixir, a total amount of resources. Yeah, and the best part is everything is outside of the base. Yeah, everything, all this gold and all this elixir is in the collectors. So you don't have to break in, watch your troops going um, anywhere else, as usually happens. And yeah, you will be able to take all these collectors, all these resources, and go away. Really, really happy. So put your eyes on the screen and watch this video, guys. It is clear that you don't find these villages every day and if you do, if you find them every day, you are a very lucky guy. Or maybe you have a problem. <laughs> Guys, don't play Clash of Clans that much. And as you can see, I have almost all the resources in this base. Of course, there are about 100 left of gold and elixir. But uh, it's going to, re to be really hard to take them with just a half of my army, so I'm going to save my troops for the next attack. And yeah, here we go. Okay, this time we don't have the half of a million of resources, of available resources we had last time. But, oh, guys, more than 400,000 of resources is still amazing, yeah. How do you know if this is an abandoned village? Okay, it's not so hard and it works for every level, for every league. It doesn't matter if you're in the Silver League or if you're in the Crystal League. Well, if you're in the Crystal League, you don't need this advice. <laughs> you need to see the levels of elixir in the elixir collectors. If you see they are full, don't hesitate and go and attack all the collectors first. We can see the amount of resources in the gold mines, but if the elixir collectors are full, the gold mines are full too. So forget about the storages, forget about the town hall, forget about everything and go for these collectors. You won't regret, guys. And as you can see, I've got almost all the resources in this base. There are only 4,000 of elixir left, but okay. There are many unprotected buildings too, so I'm going to get at least one star. Yeah, guys, I'm not going to be defeated in this attack. Uh, so, 50%, here we go. One more building, girls. You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, holy cow. 49%, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, no problem. Nice trick, Super Soul. But I still got some archers so go girls and yeah have one star and as you can see in this case i've got three percent more why okay never mind four hundred thousand of resources and let's go to another attack guys are you seeing what i'm seeing are you seeing this this base is shouting out, come and take all the resources I'm offering. They are for free, they are unprotected, and you can have anything you want. Yeah, come on, destroy all these collectors. And if you break in, well, you're going to find some full storages. Okay, I have to say, this video was made when Supercell made a promo. You could boost all your collectors for only one gem. Yeah, that's a nice promo. That's a good way to spend all your gems. I really don't use gems. I really don't like to pay to win. And of course, I'm not going to pay for one of those shields. Guys, you're going to be raided. That's a fact. So, don't panic, prepare yourself, and don't waste your money buying those silly shields. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, as you can see, this is not an abandoned base, but with gems, you can get a lot of resources. The bad news is you must be connected almost to all day, or you're going to lose everything, just like this guy. 
And yeah, I thought that I could get the storages, but <laughs> I really didn't think this really well. So I have lost my healer, and I'm going to send the goblins just to get this gold mines and that's going to be all. I know I left almost 200 of resources but guys I'm happy I'm going with almost 400,000 so this is a good attack. And here is another one. Yeah in this case we have half of a million and yeah everything is outside. So how do you find these amazing villages? Basically, you need to hit the next button. Next, 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 and next, 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 next. Yeah, sometimes it's really hard to find them. I have heard that in the Champions League, some people spend a whole hour or almost an hour just trying to get the right base to attack. If you don't care about the trophies, you can attack any base with a good loot. You go for the collectors, you go for the storages, and if you need to break into the walls, you need to be aware of what your army can do, uh, how much damage they can take, when to use the spells, where to use your troops, all that stuff. Or you will go home with empty hands and without an army. You also need to be very careful with the clan castle. The troops there might destroy your whole army, especially if they are in the middle of the base and under the attack of the rest of the cannons, archers and everything. So first try to lure all these troops and kill them away from the buildings. A good option to attack is a base with a lot of thumbstones. Yeah. Of course, it means that previously someone else raided that base, and probably the clan castle is now empty. But that's not for sure, so be careful anyways. Another good sign of an abandoned village is that empty shield next to the name of the player. That shield shows in which league we are, and you know that Supercell resets all the leagues every two weeks, more or less. If you haven't been kicked out from the league you were in the last day, you will know that this guy has been gone for a very long time. So that's it guys, look for um, tombstones, full elixir collectors, um, no shield next to the name of the player, no shield in the clan castle, and I hope you get a very good raid. So, thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to make a second part of this. This amazing attacks to abandoned villages. Until then, have a nice day.